Hi guys, Irish Bill here. Uh, I got this canteen from a friend of mine. He gave it to me because um, I waited a long time for a couple items that I bought from him. Um, it is used. It's a great canteen that I could use for maybe an early war enlist impression. Uh, or I could also use it for an office impression. It's a uh, private purchase canteen. And it's needs to have a beeswax lining for it and I'm going to show you guys how to do that plus I also need a canteen strap and a stopper for this so I'm going to be going ahead and uh, just having a little bit of a video journey along uh, taking this used canteen and making it into something very serviceable for Civil War reenacting. Earlier I chopped up a whole cake of beeswax and I'm putting in small little chunks and putting them inside this canteen. I got my oven behind me that's already at 200 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to pop it in there about 10 to 15 minutes. I got another cork from a different canteen I'm going to put on top of that and then after that I'll show you what we do next. Alright so I got a little bit of beeswax on top of here I'm just going to kind of blow it off like so. Alright and then I'm just going to put it in. Let it sit for about 10-15 minutes. Alright here's the fun part. It's been about 10 or 15 minutes. This stuff is nice and wet in here and I'm going to shake it around. Shake this thing all around until I don't hear the wax anymore. All right, so as you can hear, it's no longer making any noise. All the beeswax is starting to solidify on the inside of it. Yeah, it looks like in the inside it's got a nice coating all over the beeswax. So I just let it cool, and that's about it for that. Now, if you want to remove your old beeswax, uh, you can do one of two things if you actually have a, uh, a lining still on it. You could go about boiling it. Um, now, some people might say you might want to remove the liner. I, you know, I've done it before once. I didn't have any problems with it though. But depending on what your material is, that could actually cause some problems for you. Uh, the other way is you can go ahead and do what I just did, but you know, just heat it up and then just keep on pouring it out until it all eventually comes out. So, uh, but it's an e this is an easy, simple, quick way you can go ahead and um, wax, or at least put a lining, a wax lining in there if you want to. Now, originally canteens didn't come with that though, but this one's starting to kind of show its age, and I don't really want to be uh, swallowing a whole bunch of rust chunks when I'm drinking out my canteen. So, anyway, I will continue all the more videos of this canteen, and hope um, hope you like them.